Assalamu alaikum. My name is Moyen Ali. I am an airframe and power plant instructor at the IATC. Today we will be talking about gas turbine engines. So basically gas turbine engines are propulsion systems for aircrafts to provide thrust as well to power systems such as electrical, hydraulic and pneumatic system. Today here we have a cutaway of PT6A engine which is a turboprop engine. In order to give an insight of the operation of a gas turbine engine we have to start with the Brighton's cycle. The Brighton cycle simply states that we start with the first stage which is air intake then going into the compression stage where compressors also impellers that will try to squeeze and compress the air prior going into the combustion section as for the combustion section we have various types such as can, can annular and multi-can combustion chamber where the co compressed air meets fuel and ignition to create massive blast of high pressure, high temperature gas that is trying to escape out through the exhaust. However, it will be first encountered by turbines. Those turbines are connected with spools to the compressors of the engine. Therefore, that blast of hot air will force the turbines to rotate, hence completing and carrying on the cycle of the gas turbine engine. And last but not least, we have the gearbox which is mounted on the engine. We need a gearbox in order to have accessories connected to the engine to provide us with hydraulic as well as electric power by, mechanic, by a mechanical connection also for starters to initiate the momentum for engine spool up. Now we will carry on on our subject gas turbine engines. As we mentioned earlier, gas turbine engines are used as propulsion system for aircraft in order to generate thrust. That being said, we have to understand the theory of flight and I would like to suggest to watch the aerodynamic video listed on this channel for perspective and understanding. In order to operate gas turbine engines, we need energy. And as we know, the energy conservation law states energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but it changes from one form to another. For gas turbine engines, energy will be classified as two types of energy, potential and kinetic. The potential is the stored chemical energy in the fuel, transferred to kinetic energy via combustion in order to operate the gas turbine engine. And that is basically the Brighton's cycle, where first air intake goes into the compression stage, afterwards combustion, and the last stage, which is exhaust. The gas turbine engine, in principle, if we look at this ball-like apparatus, we will see two nozzles and subjected to heat. And that 
if we need together today's modern turbine engine in principle is credited to an Egyptian and philosopher by the name of Hero who created a device which called Aeolipel. The Aeolipel it's basically spherical ball filled with water and two opposite directional nozzles when subjected to heat the steam of the water is trying to escape from the sphere therefore creating a proportion that will rotate the ball on its axis however the modern the first modern turbine engine thanks to Frank Willow who was a carrier in the British Air College built the first turbine engine basically from compressor impeller driven by a turbine wheel as shown on the picture later on after Frank Whittle's turbojet engine engines had evolved into different configurations such as turboprop, turboshaft and turbo fan. The turboprop engine is basically the same engine that we saw earlier, the PT6A turboprop engine that consists of compressor, turbine, combustion as well as a propeller that will be giving the thrust of the aircraft. Turboprop gas turbine engines are usually efficient at speeds that below 350 miles per hour. Another configuration will be the turbo shaft. Turbo shaft, basically, the same engines are installed in on helicopters where a free rotating turbine is connected to the shaft to propel the helicopters. Last but not least, the turbofan, which is the latest invention of gas turbine engines, where efficiency of fuel, better economy, and higher thrust ratings, which makes it the most used in military and commercial aircraft. Basically, turbofan engines will have either a low bypass ratio or high bypass ratio. What we mean about uh, what we mean uh, regarding bypass ratio, we will, are talking about the difference between the cold section in relation to the hot section. Some modern turbofan high bypass engines will get the thrust from the cold section by 80%. So a ratio of 4 to 1. As for engine flow, we have two types of flow. Axial flow, basically a unidirectional flow from the intake to the exhaust. On the other hand, we have centrifugal flow which incorporates impeller to change the direction of flow depending on the design of the engine so impeller is used to change from axial flow to in centrifugal flow now we will talk about gas turbine engines accessories earlier in this video we said that gas turbine engine is used as propulsion system to drive the aircraft forward. As well, it powers various aircraft systems such as hydraulic, pneumatic, and electric system. That being said, let's go briefly on some of the components that will power each system. The electrical system which incorporate either IDG or backup generators. The IDG is basically integrated drive generator. Due to the fact of the variation of aircraft engine speed, and in order to get a constant frequency out of the generator, we need a constant speed drive integrated with 
generator for constant output and that would be the job of integrated drive generator IDG carrying on also the hydraulic system will be supplied via EDP which is engine driven pump a mechanical pump attaches to the gearbox of the engine and providing pressurized hydraulic fluid to the aircraft system finally the last system powered by gas turbine engine is the pneumatic system which provides bleed coming from the early stages of compressor for various purposes such as anti-ice de-icing of leading edge wings engine cells as well for air conditioning system we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and learned about the gas turbine engine and wish you all a good day Engine and quite a local personality born in Earlston in Coventry. Have you always had an interest in the aviation world? Oh yes, ever since I was four years old. When walking along the butts, I saw, I think that must have been uh, 1911, yes, I saw either Hamill or Hux, I've forgotten now who it was, flying a Blerio monoplane over. Did you have any ambition to follow your father into the engineer engineering industry at all? Not particularly follow my father, but uh, no, I just wanted to... My great ambition was to fly.